All right, here's a brief explanation of why I personally believe this phoricity should not be an assumption in a mixed ANOVA. That's an ANOVA with a between group and a within group part of its designs. So let's just take a regular T-test. That's like a baby ANOVA, same, same, same. So you would take the mean of the female scores and the mean of the male scores, subtract them, divided by the standard deviations. You would not get a significant difference between these groups, okay? Um... So, not significant in the beginning here. That's the between group design, right? Males or females. We're going to add the within group measurement by making a before and after situation. So, before advertisements, the treatment between the before and after tests are like World Cup commercials. So, let's say they just flash out all these real exciting World Cup commercials and, and everybody that, you know, loves soccer is going to get really excited. And then they give them a after the advertisement score to measure their sports excitement. Again, they're going to measure the males and the females. Okay. This, so this before and after, this is your within group part. And your between group is the male or female. There's your mixed ANOVA. Okay, you would probably come out something like this. In other words, males tend to get more excited about soccer than females. That's not always true, right? But, but as a whole, males are the big sports fan, and females not so much. So, so look, there's automatically a significant difference based on the between group. That's the nature of the mixed ANOVA. So there's a significant difference between the groups between the males and the females in the after advertisement, but not in the before. So the male, if you'll notice, the females did not change between before and after. They did a little bit, okay? You got one or two people up there. but And overall, there was no, there was no between, or I'm sorry, no within group difference between the females, but there was definitely for the males, right? They got real excited. The commercials did what they were supposed to. Okay. So there was a significant interaction between the between group and the within group. In other words, the between group males, their scores for the after adv advertisements went sky high where the females did not. So that's what we call an interaction. But now, this is where I think that the between group design overrides sphericity. And I might be wrong here. But the original one, not a problem, right? Sphericity. You draw a... a, a figure around them it should look relatively like a cigar but when you look at the other one it kind of it kind of looks like a big piece of pizza so I, this is what I used to think I'm I've never seen it in a book anywhere so there's I'm having difficulty understanding it but if there is going to be a between group effect that should automatically make the assumption of sphericity violated just because of the way the data looks here but I've been I've been thinking about it again maybe they're just talking about the bulk of them so if we put one in here that was just the main group here that would look like sphericity hold on a second maybe that maybe this is what they're thinking about okay so maybe I'm switching my story and Sphericity should probably be an assumption in the mixed ANOVA because I, I'm pretty sure this is what they mean to say and not that original one here where it looks like the pizza pie. But again, I never I never saw it in a book. and so. But my official answer is, yes, I'm going to put Sphericity back into it. I will fix those web pages. And thank you very much for noticing. MGZ.